Hi, welcome. This is a tutorial for the guys, the beta testers guys. They will get this ISO from Arch Merged and we will be booted into it. And VirtualBox, of course, since I have to record it. We are going to get into an XFCE environment but uh, a barren one. I don't want any menus or anything. I just want it to be a pass through uh, to our installation. So we're gonna say where we live, what the, and so you know the drill. I'm not gonna rename it. Maybe I should, so you see, so where the work in what part to merge, D. So it's for um, a stripped down version of Arch Merge, there's no Firefox, Google Chrome, Vivaldi, Fonts, anything really. Um, printing, Bluetooth, what we did do is networking and um, things like Git, because we want to maybe post something online, stuff like that. But uh, basically, uh, only the video drivers and the network drivers are on board. And then it's up to you to decide which desktop environment you want. You want GNOME, Budgie, uh, Cinnamon, um, OpenBox, XFC, i3. What did I forget? Awesome. Herbs, Luft, WM. I don't know. Anything really that is uh, ready to, to be installed on Arch. So what we're actually doing with this part is skipping phase one with the installing the Arch way. So rather than starting in the terminal, we are skipping the first phase and we'll do that at a later time when we are at phase four. Everything is described at archmerged.com. What we mean with phase one and phase two and phase three and phase four. Um, some uh, explanations to the guys. So the beta testers mm, don't go poking around. There's nothing to see. There's nothing installed. Uh, open terminal here. Um, don't go typing, uh, I don't know, pseudo pacman stuff like that. I'll show you what not to do. Very professional of me. Don't do this. Why? Because it's normal that this thing happens here. So don't bother with it. Once you're installed, everything is fine. This has been reported on uh, Calamares. Even when we click here and we say done, it does not restart. So maybe it will fix it. There is a little variable inside the finished.com file and I said it was false, but anyway, it pops up. So we're stuck here. So we need to go down here, log out and then restart. So that was quite fast. I'll time it later on YouTube, but the installation of Arch couldn't be any faster. Boot existing OS. So we're gonna try Arch merged. So what we get is something, well, maybe frightening for some of us. But if you're going to go to phase four and install Arch Linux the Arch way, this is what you get. So <clears throat> let's go in. Um, maybe I'll start with saying this. There is an alias inside, just one, because we want you to have the fastest mirrors wherever you are on the world. So maybe we better start with that and drink a bit of coffee. So um, now that we have the final version and we can have a quick look at the mirror list that we created. So we are at least web.net and so on and so on and so on. This are the fastest servers around here. Fine, I suppose. Then um, we're gonna install stuff. So the video is installed, the networking is installed, meaning we could just try this one. Okay, so I can now do pacman minus syu. And as you can see, there is no error anymore. And then everything is here. And if we want to install something from our Arch Merge repository, then you have the choice to do so. I'm not going to do that. Um, okay, 
let's install you know as an example so sudo pacman minus s gdm gdm is let's say click choice here well done gdm is our display manager it's going to be installed That's that. <clears throat> now we're going to install GNOME itself. There are two things you can install. It's up to you if you install everything. Let's make a complete tutorial and let's go for 1.5 gigabyte. So everything is going to be installed. I think I better pause this. Okay, so that's done. Now we have to tell him to actually use the system, actually use whatever we installed. And there are two things you should know. Maybe we should just pop this over here. We installed the display server. I've done that in Arch Merge, so Xorg. NVIDIA, I've not done that. That's if you have to have if you want to have proprietary drivers still have to do that but normally that's the open source drivers that will work and then we installed uh, GDM which is the display manager and these things are then the GNOME and the GNOME Extra so that's what we've done and now we're gonna activate system control um, enable our GDM service so it's going to be activated let's take a look take take a look at what it says fail to enable unit file etc blah, blah, blah. and it is a simlic etc so it means it's gone wrong and that's uh, one well i could show you better show you i am a teacher after all so uh, list me everything that's inside this thing here and then you see that there's already a display manager service that's because we installed it with uh, the other installation you know so it's pointing now to light dm and when to we need to override it so that's the only thing we need to do so minus f and force it and then we can go back up and we'll see that there is now well the same name but the content is different it's going to point now not to the light dm but to the gdm that's that and still one thing to do and then we're set to reboot we need to tell also that we're gonna change from set default and then you can go to the graphical rather than the what was again the multi user target so now it's set to multi user target so we want the graphical environment to boot into and we're gonna tell them that see that there are no errors anywhere it's all red, okay, but as long as, as there are no errors, then it's okay. So let's have a look how GNOME looks, and that's how we want to proceed. Um, in our tutorials, these are the basic things we need to repeat and repeat each time we install Budgie or anything else. And that's uh, the fun of it. We have a basis. And we have um, a choice, so we can have GDM, MDM, I've tried others as well. And so, give it, do give it a try, and you can here then select whatever you want, and then sign in. Okay, boot it. So, we have now our system, we could uh, go to view, virtual screen, resize to the size of my system. I think that's done and then control F and there you go now I have a complete vision of my screen 
and of course I still have to install lots of software but that's again up to some scripts you can run and I'm gonna use I think github as a basis of our knowledge I'm gonna teach people how to use github and rather than go um, to a software manager or something and click Firefox and you click Google Chrome and say install, install i rather make a little script and say run this script and install a bunch of software at one go and then maybe we can compare our notes and we say okay I, when I install GNOME I install always that and then that and it's quite interesting to have this extension or stuff like that so we can share it online on github and make it a, the best possible uh, gnome setup for arch okay i think i said it all um now it's up to you to test out this arch merged version so again if you want to uh, some recapitulation arch merge is a fully installed in, in system tweaked settings uh, icons themes it's fully functional arch merge is a script uh, arch merged with a d is a stripped down uh, version with no desktop uh, no icons no themes whatsoever this is the normal look i did not do anything about it icons have not been changed and so on this is out of the box uh, you have to install everything yourself and that's what's interesting this is more of a learning process what did we do now? We skipped phase one in installing the Arch way. So getting to the formatting, formatting and making partitions and all that. We skipped all that the part and we've used Calamares to get in where we are very fast. And now we try to figure out how do we install GNOME, GNOME Extra and Budgie, Cinnamon and so on. That's the idea have a tool to learn and to build upon it's like a lego box we have now this this plate this red plate where you put all the pieces on and now you're gonna put it back together and make your own desktop the way you like it all right cheers